Iman Gaji is destroying the YouTube algorithm right now. He had just hit over 800,000 subscribers and is growing 130,000 subscribers per month. Not only that, but he's racking in tens of millions of views on TikTok. And in this video, I'm gonna break down his entire organic content distribution system on how he's able to blow up his YouTube channel and generate over $30 million. And you're gonna wanna watch the very end because this strategy is absolutely brilliant. Now, if you don't know who Iman Gaji is, he's an entrepreneur and most famously known for growing a seven figure marketing agency, IAG Media, and documenting his journey on YouTube. He also runs Grow Your Agency, which is an education company which sells courses and info products on how you can start and grow your own social media marketing agency. Now, Eman's story is super inspiring. He started his agency when he was about 14, 15 years old, is in high school still, and he did it to support his single Russian mother. Now, there's still videos of him on his channel back when he was like 14, 15 years old, documenting his journey and how he started his first agency. You can see him signing his first few clients for like a couple hundred pounds a month, all the way to making millions, buying Rollies, buying APs, Pateks, moving to Dubai, making millions of dollars and traveling the world. But although Eman has been on YouTube for over six years now, he didn't blow up overnight. There was a critical shift that he made in middle of 2022 that absolutely blew up his channel. Now let's dive straight into it. Now number three is gonna absolutely blow your mind. So you're gonna wanna stick around for that. Number one is mass appeal. Now after studying Eman's channel and hundreds of other YouTube channels and how they blew up, how they get millions of views, I've noticed that the ones that blow up, they have mass market appeal. Now, Eman targets a really broad, massive audience. So basically, it's anyone who is time rich, so they have a lot of time on their hands, but they're cash poor, meaning they're looking for ways to make money online and live that laptop kind of lifestyle. Essentially, he creates videos for the younger Eman, right? The one that was in high school that was looking for ways to make money online and support his single mother. So that's the market he's appealing to that have a lot of time and not a lot of money, which is most of the planet. Now, after analyzing his channel, you can see his most recent videos are all about how you can make money or not be poor, right? So all of those are appealing to those people that are aspiring to make millions of dollars just like he has. So you can see this one, best online business to start as a beginner, eight money tips for teenagers to become millionaires, seven millionaire skills I wish I knew at 18, 17 side hustles you can start during the 2022 recession. Now, as you can see from these video titles, these are all videos that have massive broad appeal, meaning these are anybody that's looking to make more money and ultimately become more financially free. Now, if you scroll down on his channel, he stopped making content that's strictly focused on starting or running a marketing agency and switched more to a mass broader appeal in terms of the topics and the ideas ideas that he's creating for his videos. He started creating content that people are already interested in, which is making money. And then he started creating videos for people that wanted to watch videos like that, that are interested in making money. And then what he would do is he would educate them and sell them on the idea that building an agency and starting a marketing agency is the best model to start. And that's how he made his millions and how he thinks in his mind, that's the best model to start if you're looking to make money online. And then of course he has a program and a course that you can buy that ultimately help you start and grow your own marketing agency. And you can see he does it in this video here. Now, number two, it's clickbaity and binge worthy. The name of the game in content, but specifically on YouTube, is getting someone to click on your video and then watch for the maximum amount of time. Because YouTube, they get paid on ad revenue, meaning the more time you spend on the platform, the more ads they can serve you, which ultimately they make more money from the advertisers advertising on their platforms. And it's a simple equation. You have click through rate, which is CTR, and you have watch time. The more you can get people to click on your video, and then watch and retain and continue to come back and watch more and more of your videos and stay on the platform, the more YouTube is going to reward you and then push your videos out to more people, ultimately getting more views, more subscribers, and ultimately blowing up your channel. Now, Eman does an incredible job of this, not just with the ideas he's creating for this mass broad market appeal, but also with the titles in terms of getting you intrigued to want to learn more about this and how you can make more money and how you can become more financially free, how you can become a millionaire, but then also with the thumbnails that make you interested and curious to want to click through. And so he sucks you in with the title and thumbnail to want to click on the video. And then once you click on the video, it's really high quality content. So the, the visual component, the actual video quality, but the storytelling, the way he's giving the value and delivering the points, and then wrapping it in with the editing and the actual production 
of the videos where he has multiple camera angles as well. It just sucks you in and it keeps you engaged with the entire video. And then he also hooks you in to want to learn and watch right to the end. And so this is really the essence of making really good YouTube content. And Emen does an incredible job of this. Now, one very ninja hack that he does to not only get more audience retention, meaning them sticking on the video and increasing his watch time, but also to get more customers and sales is he posts a video. Basically, it looks like a regular YouTube video. And this one is the best online business to start as a beginner. That video is basically a sales video, a webinar that's disguised as a regular YouTube video that ultimately sells and pitches his program and his course at the end of the video. And it basically tells him, here's the best online businesses. He breaks them all down in terms of which one you should start. He talks about drop shipping, e-commerce, all this stuff. Then he makes the case that an agency is the best model to start with. Again, he sucks them in with the best model, how you can make more money. And then he educates you. And then he shows you why an agency is the best model and the best actual business to start. And then at the end, he pitches you on joining his course again, how you can start and grow your own profitable social media marketing agency. Then whenever he creates additional videos on how to make money online or how to generate more income or side hustles or what the best online business to start is, he then drives you at the end of his video to that main video, which is the sales video in this guys and tells you to watch that next video, which does two things. It increases his watch time. So people are going watching this 40 minute video that describes the best model to start and how they can make more money. So obviously they're going to click on it, but then it also it sells the person at the end on his program. So he's basically getting all these different videos, which act as ads in a sense, right? Driving them into his sales video, which is all organic. And then he's getting them to watch the video and ultimately buy his program. So it keeps people back. So YouTube is going to suggest his video is going to put it in the home page and on the suggested on the left hand side so that he can get more views to that video. But then at the end of his videos, again, he directs them to that video. So now any new video he puts out, he drives them at the end with a call to action to watch that next video, getting more people to watch the sales video and ultimately make more sales. And so it's this massive feedback loop and it's a sales mechanism to increase his sales and his revenue. Now, this is all fundamentals that you should be doing to grow and blow up your YouTube channel. But this next strategy, number three is going to absolutely blow your mind. It's the content redistribution system. Do you remember this guy, Andrew Tate? Send her ass to the club to get fucked by okay. somebody. I've wasted enough of my life. No, no, no. Well, e is using a very similar strategy that Andrew Tate used to become the most Googled person on the planet and rack in tens of billions of views on TikTok. So let's dive into the strategy. So e creates really good videos that appeal to the masses and how to make more money, right? Well, e then replicated Andrew Tate's viral content strategy. Now, instead of building an affiliate army like Andrew Tate did to redistribute his content and drive them into Hustlers University, what e did is he built a content redistribution team where he actually has people in-house on his team that he uses to chop his clips and create additional pieces of content to distribute his YouTube videos onto TikTok reels and shorts to drive even more content to his channel. Now, Eman hired over 22 people at this point of what I know from places like Brazil, Serbia, India, Philippines to basically chop up and go through all of his thousands of hours of YouTube content that he's created over the past six years and chop them up into TikTok reels and shorts to redistribute them onto those channels and then ultimately drive drive them back to his YouTube channel. He then pays these people $1,500 per month to edit and chop up and redistribute his content onto these short platforms. Now, similar to what Andrew Tate did, where he has this affiliate army creating all these different accounts so that you can't, if you take down one, there's a thousand other accounts that are posting his content. e did a very similar thing. So he has all of these like content redistribution team creating individual accounts, basically clone accounts like e Reels or e like two. And he'd create all these different accounts where they would then redistribute his content. So not just is it on his channel, which is smart because if he just had one IG or one TikTok or whatever, and he was posting it all from there, he has his whole content distribution team having multiple accounts distributing on multiple different accounts that ultimately, if you look at or all of them drive back to is they all drive back to a link in his bio, which is back to his YouTube channel. So he's literally getting tens of millions of views, hundreds of millions of views on TikTok and IG and all these channels, and then driving them back to his YouTube channel, ultimately growing his YouTube channel even more. And e treats his team kind of like a sales team. So more than just like having them post and paying them 1500 bucks a month, you know, one of my friends is in GCC, which is his NFT project. And he showed a video of his whole content redistribution strategy. And you can see there's like a leaderboard of these content redistribution team. And he gives the person that has the most viral video, gets the most views in a month. He gives them an incentive, basically a bonus of like a hundred or $500 as a bonus, for whoever goes the most viral. And then 
And that also incentivizes and motivates these distribution teams to go and post even more and then create more viral clips, make them more choppy, make them more engaging. And then also sees trends that are trending right now because TikTok and all these sounds and everything, that's really key. And so he gets them to then go and create these viral videos. And then that gets him even more views, drives them to the YouTube channel. And it's this massive feedback loop and he treats it like a sales team so that he can have competition within that team so that they can ultimately create the most viral content and help them go viral. Now, what's amazing about this strategy and what's amazing about this like new kind of organic short content that's distributing across all these channels is that for 33 grand a month, so about 22 editors at 1500 bucks a month, that's about 33 grand, right? For about $33,000, he's getting over 100 million views a month on TikTok and Reels. And he's also getting about 5 million views a month on his YouTube channel. Now, if you look at that in terms of how much you would need to spend on advertising to get that much impressions and that much views, you'd need to be spending millions of dollars a month. So for $33,000 a month, he's getting millions of dollars worth of free advertising. He's getting this at a fraction of the cost due to this content redistribution system. And it is truly brilliant. He basically simulated and orchestrated Andrew Tate's strategy, but built it where he has more control. And then he also has a team that loves him, that wants to see him succeed. And they're all aligned on the same vision. And then he incentivizes them for the most viral content to go and push more of his content. Then all he does is he creates another YouTube video that appeals to the masses, mass broad market appeal, has good titles, has good thumbnails, it retains them with the good quality storytelling and then ultimately drives them into his sales videos to get more sales and then just repeats. And that's how he's able to get millions of views, hundreds of millions of views and generate tens of billions of dollars. And it's a really, really amazing strategy. And I got really inspired when I first seen this. So hats off to you, E-Man. This strategy is absolutely brilliant. I know you simulated and basically orchestrated Andrew Tate's strategy and basically made it your own and also has that more control, which I think is really, really smart. And this content strategy, I'm telling you, if you're not doing this, in this day and age, you're missing out because this is honestly one of the best organic content strategies that you can do out there, especially if you're trying to grow a YouTube channel, utilizing the short platforms to drive back to your YouTube channel. And that's really honestly how I'm growing my YouTube channel as well. And so it's an absolutely brilliant strategy. Now, what I want you to do is watch this video right here where I break down Andrew Tate's strategy on how he basically became the most Google man on the planet. And I break down his entire organic content distribution system on how he was able to blow up as well, which I think you'll find really, really valuable. So watch this video right here where I break down Andrew Tate's entire organic viral strategy.